Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. And if you're a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I like clockwork. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and try on of my Ipsy September 2020 bag. This is gonna be pretty late. I have been so, we have been so busy lately. As you guys know, we are moving back home and we're trying to get everything ready, everything cleaned up, packed up. Um, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of filming done, so everything's gonna be pretty much like pushed back. And also for Halloween makeup looks, it's probably not gonna happen this year as we are going to be driving cross country and I will probably just be vlogging the whole trip for October, so. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel. If you wanna see some beauty and lifestyle content, also don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when I do upload a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. That was like the longest intro ever. I'm sorry, you guys. I just always talk. As you guys can tell, I cut my hair. I had to do it. My hair was getting too long. I was starting to get headaches and my hair was falling out like crazy. I kept putting it up in a bun or a bun like right back here and it just, it was hurting. I have not had my hair cut like this since like 2008 and I'm actually really loving it. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna style it and all that stuff. This is the bag right here. It is a maroon corduroy bag. It has these camel colored ties. I think it's super cute. Um, I like it better than the one that I got last month. This one's just really cute. Reminds me of the 70s or the flare corduroys that we used to wear when we were teenagers. Um, I think it's really cute. The theme for this month is called Good Vibes. This month, Radiate Positivity. From trying a bold new hairstyle to finding the perfect fall lip color when you embrace the seasons of change with I got this attitude. The results will be out of sight. The first two things that I got is by Star Skin. This is the Star Skin Foam Peeling Puff. It feels really puffy. That's why I was like, what is this? And then I also have the Close Up Firming Bio Cellulose Face Mask. The Foaming Peeling Puff is a unique puffy sponge soaked with a brightening formula of vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acids to gently remove dulling dead skin cells and acne causing debris. That sounds that actually sounds really cool. The Close Up Base Mask features a potent combo of hydrating glacier extract and tripeptide, a major skin restoring compound to help boost skin elasticity. For the both of these, they retail for $17.25. I am very careful when applying my moisturizer, serums, anything. I try to pat it in and when I do rub it in, I try to go in an upward motion, but I have noticed that when I do apply anything to my skin, it's not as tight as it used to be. Having something like this would be really nice and this does sound really promising and kind of fun to play with totally forgot to tell you guys but for ipsy now you are able to choose three items out of the five that you get this is by the brand feel this is a vitamin e balm this balm moisturizes lips softens rough patches and protects a delicate skin so you can use this on your lips your lids and your cheeks that's very interesting. This is also cruelty-free and vegan. This MSRP is for $24. This is a pretty big size, actually. I'm always a huge fan of anything lip balm or anything to keep my lips moisturized throughout the day. And I always, always, always apply lip balm before I go to bed because my lips are dry, period. This is the clear color. There's like barely, barely a tint. Um, I don't see a tint. Ooh, this feels nice. Oh no, I think this might be a new favorite. It has a little bit of a rose scent, but it smells like mint. It tastes like mint. It actually kind of tastes like, cause I don't usually like eat my lip balms, but it kind of tastes like the, the old Bath and Body Works lip balms. That's what it smells like. I thought it was gonna be a little thicker, but it's not. Next here, we have Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. This is a hydrating, brightening, and refreshing eye cream. It is super lightweight, cruelty-free, and it is loaded with ingredients like echinacea, licorice, and grapeseed. The full-size version of this is for $24.50. I honestly, I don't really need any more eye creams. So 
I mean, I'm still gonna try it on. If I don't like it, I'll probably just like give it to my cousin or my sisters or something like that. Simple pointed squeeze tubes. This is what came out, it's clear. Very simple. Doesn't really smell like anything. It is very slippery, liquidy. It kind of feels like what would be in like a face mask or something. So I already have eye cream on, but I'm still gonna put this on. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it is very thin in consistency and it is very slippery. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put on my foundation, concealer, my eyebrows, and I'll be back with the last two products. Now we're back. I have my foundation, concealer, and I did my brows. I will link everything down below to let you guys know what I used. Now we have the next product. This is by Wander Beauty. This is the Wanderous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette. This is the one that I also picked out for myself. There are foil shades in here, shimmery, satin, and matte eyeshadows. MSRP is for $25. So what initially attracted me to this eyeshadow palette is a definite the blue shade. I have mentioned this multiple times that I am just really into blue right now. I don't know what it is. So this one right here is Golden Reef. One's really pretty. And then the next one is Sea Salt. It's supposed to be like a pink. That's cute. And then the last one, <coughs> excuse me, is Champagne Harbor. That's really pretty. I could get down with that one. That one would be a really pretty highlighter shade as well. Then we'll go ahead and do the last row. We've got Coastal. This one is a navy shade. It's a little darker than I thought it would be. The next one we have is Sea Foam. So this is supposed to be like a sea foam green color. And then the last one is Sand Foam. This is the matte. That is so smooth. That's really pretty. The first shade that I'm gonna go in with is Sand Dollar. It's just, it's gonna be my basic eye looks that I always do. I'm just gonna add this as my transition shade with a brush that I don't normally use, but I've been trying to use all of my brushes that I don't normally use. I need to utilize them more. This shade's really pretty. It's your basic transition tan shade. It is on the warmer side. Blending out really well. It's layering very nicely. I'm gonna go in with Champagne Harbor. I know, surprise, surprise. It's what I always do, but I really wanna use the blue shade in here. So I'm just gonna use my finger and pop this on right here. Wow, that is pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the shade Coastal. In the pan, it looks like a really bright blue, but when I swatched it in person, it looks more of like a navy, which honestly, it's not a big deal because I do love navy eyeliner. I think what I'm gonna do though is try a setting spray with it. So I'm gonna go in with my Milani Fruit Fetish. I'm gonna say it right this time, my Fruit Fetish setting spray and we're gonna go in to see what this looks like way better Ooh, that is pretty now that i have the eyes done i just put on some mascara the last thing that i have is by yenza it's the silk bronzing base and brush this retails for 50 dollars this is a cream bronzer that gives the ultimate sun sun kissed glow even if you didn't make it to the beach for Labor Day. This is lightweight, it is silky, it is seamless, gives you that just came back from vacay look. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. It's got this little plastic thing here and it's just very basic, simple cream bronzer. Ooh, I don't mind the smell so it kind of smells florally, like light floral, but it has a little bit of Play-Doh scent to it. I kind of like that Play-Doh scent. It also comes with a densely packed brush. I mean, it, it, it moves around a little bit. It's really soft though. I wasn't expecting a brush, but I'm um, really excited to play with it. I think this might be, let me see if this is similar to the Fenty one that I have. So this is a Fenty cream bronzer. This one is kind of dirty, but the Fenty one is not as orange, and I even said that this one was a little orange, so we will see how this works out. I'm gonna swatch it real quick first. 
Okay, wait a second. Let me just go ahead and get in there. This is very orange. I'm just gonna go like this. It says that it's a base, but I'm, I'm assuming that it's still going to be a bronzer though. I'll probably still put a bronzer over it. So the color really, it's not bad. What's actually kind of nice about this is that when you do apply the color, it doesn't go on super pigmented right away. So you don't have like one patch of color. And this brush is really nice. You're actually able to blend it out. I actually really like this. It, the color is kind of scary at first. It does look a little um, orange at first, but after blending it out, it looks really nice. The one thing that I was worried about was the brush and the bronzer picking up my foundation and moving it around, and it's definitely not doing that. Okay, right, so I popped on the rest of my makeup, and um, I have to say right now, the love color that I'm wearing right now, I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think I may have found my dupe for the Bonnie Bell Cappuccino Lip Gloss. It's the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Gloss in Skin Deep. Oh my God, you guys, I freaking love this. This is like the perfect nude shade. And I'm also wearing it with the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Truffle. Oh my God, you guys, this combination right here, even just this by itself, I freaking love it. Um, I got it on sale for $20. I think they're still on sale. I think I may have to buy it back up. I don't know. I probably don't need it, but you know. I am going to try these two out at a later date and I will update you guys in the description box down below. Like I said, it may take a while. The Feel Vitamin E Lip Balm, this smells really good. Just like this guy right here, it's got that menthol feel minty feel on the lips it smells a little bit like mint and floral and it smells so so good it feels good it's not too thick but it's also not too slippery it's right in the middle so this would definitely be good for someone who does have really dry lips or if you want to put this on before bed i love this the context vitamin c all day eye cream this is I'd probably say this is not my favorite, but if I was in a pinch, I'd probably use it. Um, this is very, very lightweight. Feels a little slippery. Probably just give this away to someone. It's not bad, but I do love my Ula Hendrickson one, the banana eye cream. The Wonder Beauty and Wonder Rest Seascape. I really do like this palette. I did not try any of the foils, but I did put on the shimmer matte and I used the blue shimmer, kind of like a satin eyeshadow as my eyeliner. I absolutely loved it. I used my Morphe setting spray on that brush just so that I could get a little bit more color. It worked out really well. I don't know how many more eyeshadow palettes I need, probably don't need this at all so I will probably hand it off to someone who would want it but this is a very nice palette I do really enjoy this this is definitely the star of the show it's the Yenza sunlit glow cream bronzer and it comes with the brush I am like absolutely amazed by this product I literally thought that it was going to be too orange every time that I try to bronzer whether it be the Fenty cream bronzer and then I've got the milk makeup matte bronzer and baked I I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be orange just by looking at it in here or in the packaging. But when I do try them, it always ends up working out really well. So with this, after putting it on, I forgot to tell you guys, it doesn't feel tacky at all. It blends out really well. Even with using this brush, it doesn't blend away any of the foundation. It just looks really beautiful. I love it. I feel like I have a nice little tan going and I would definitely say that this is my favorite out of the whole bag. Now let's go ahead and get into the total value of the bag. The total value of the box is $141 even, and I think that that's a pretty good value for the whole box. Like I've always said, I only paid $25 for the box, and I think that that is a very great value for everything. So anyways, that is it for me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys do want to see anything else, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.